A tour company in the Antarctic is planning to make it easier for tourists with a new type of transport. It's a specially modified hovercraft designed to go sightseeing on ice. Dave Gooselink reports. Testing out their newest toys in Antarctica. Heritage expeditions have been taking tour groups here for 16 years, but access to the Ross Seas has been getting more difficult. Major icebergs like B-15 have blocked even more ice into the lower McMurdo Sound. Seasonal sea ice known as fast ice has also made it harder to get tourists to the historic huts of Shackleton and Scott. We end up with say three or four miles of fast ice between the ship and the shore, and that's where the passengers want to go. Till now, Russ has transported tourists on all-terrain amphibious vehicles, but they're slow over water and cumbersome on ice. A hovercraft can handle it all. The fast ice is flat, it's frozen sea ice. There were a few humps and hollows into it, but uh, we, we, we didn't encounter anything that the, the hovercraft couldn't actually just fly over and, and carry on. Test runs last summer proved popular with tourists who could enjoy the icy landscape while being protected from the elements. Each hovercraft can carry seven passengers and travel at speeds of up to 40 knots. GPS units and VHF radios have been added for safety and important modifications made for the Antarctic landscape. A thermostat stops the engines from freezing up in temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees. They're a lot of fun to drive, that's for sure. It's, um, there's times when you just sit there and enjoy the hard yards you put in to get them down there. The next expedition's heading south next summer when tourists will be able to experience flying across the ice themselves. Dave Gooslink, 3 News.